Okay. All right. You're ready to get started. Christy, are you recording? Yep, I'm recording. Let's do this. Oh, let's do it. Okay, guys. So welcome, welcome, welcome tonight. And I'm throwing a curve in here tonight. So does anybody here like ketchup? I mean, like French fries? You know, like, French fries? <laughs> like the Chick-fil-A waffle fries or like just Red Robin's fries or French fries? Okay. I'm going to leave you up a little thought this morning or, or this afternoon. So have you ever ordered French fries and the waitress comes out or the server comes out and they bring you fries and you're like, but wait, I need some ketchup. And by the time they go back to the kitchen and they bring the ketchup out, your fries are kind of cold. Are the fries as good? No. <laughs> so I want you to think about this, a little thing of ketchup. And when you work your Mary Kay business, we're going to chat about that some more tonight, but always bring ketchup to the table. All right. So that's a thought for you guys. Always bring ketchup to the table. And what that means, you always want to bring your best. You always want to do your best. You always want to give the best customer service you could ever imagine. That is how you will build customers when 100, 150, 300 customers in your customer base. It's always thanking bringing ketchup to the table. Okay, so we'll chat about more on that in just a little bit. So tonight, guys, we are going to cover um, holiday training part one. Are y'all excited? We try to make some money this holiday season. Woohoo! I know I am. Um, okay, we're also going to cover um, Facebook parties, some new tools and ideas that Christy is going to share with you tonight that I am so excited to learn about. Like so excited that like, I just can't stand it. Um, and then Nancy is going to share how we can dream big and how our mind and our thinking process affects everything we do in, in every day and in our Mary Kay business. So Nancy, I love your inspiration always. I mean, you just, you have a gift girlfriend. And so I can't wait for you to pour into all of us tonight. So Nancy, I'm going to turn it over to you, girlfriend, for some recognition. Oh, I was like, I'm supposed to play. <laughs> I was so excited. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, girls. Okay, Who has a new team member that they would like to introduce tonight? We have a new team member that we're going to meet. Not tonight? Okay. That means there's room. Who's going to have somebody new by next week? I do. I actually do have a new team member. She's not on tonight, but we're going to get to meet her. Okay. Um, who promoted themselves? Who became a new senior consultant? Who has um, added a new red jacket? Has anybody promoted themselves? Jazz promoted herself to super senior. Awesome. Yay. Give Jazz some congratulations. Tell us about your new team member, Jazz. So I just got my new business partner, Becca, she just got active this past weekend with her first order. So doing that was really fun for the both of us. Awesome. Congratulations. Yay. Okay. I know you guys have had this. Who's had hundred dollar days? Come on, everybody. We've had a hundred dollar day since the last time we were together. You should be doing some kind of Yay, yay Amy. Who else? Alana. Almost 30 years. <laughs> hundred dollar days make all the difference you guys when you start having hundred dollar days i believe you get excited and when you get excited you want to tell everyone christina just said earlier um it was a mary Kay day she got on started doing stuff and it became a mary Kay day when you are focused on hundred dollar days you sell more you do more and you also get a really Great prize for doing that. All right, who is a star already this quarter? Anyone? Raise your hand. Yay. Who is a sapphire star? Do. Okay, who's a ruby? Okay, who's a diamond? Who's going to be a diamond? <laughs> All right. Um, you guys, being a star every quarter, yes, we get great prizes. I know Susan's husband selected her prize for her already. Thank God they were in agreement. Yay. Um, but the prize is just a little bonus. Being a star consultant every quarter means you are selling product and making money. So being a star isn't just about getting the recognition and the prizes. Those are the benefits, but the benefit is cash in your pocket. We are getting ready to move into the hottest selling season. Mary Beth is going to share some great ideas with us. 
classes, facials, Facebook classes are not going to stop. People are going to love them. People are hungry for this right now. And so you guys, STAR is tomorrow, I think. Today's the 14th. Yeah. So STAR is tomorrow. If you are close, if you've been contemplating it, if you need holiday items, now is the time to do it. Um, I'm sure we all sent out the similar text saying, guys, don't wait until the 16th, 17th, or 18th, or whatever day you think you're going to order holiday. If you want it, you need to order it on the 15th. So I encourage you, if you're not a star and you feel like this is an investment that you want to make in your business, do it now. Um, you know, if you were holding on until Wednesday or Thursday because you want to use it for next quarter star, this is not the season to be focused on that. You're going to sell enough over the holidays to be a star the next quarter. If you want that holiday product, you need to get it now. I know I wasn't supposed to say that, but anyway, um, so finish your star girls. If you're close, finish your star. This when you get done tonight, you're going to want to go place an order. So just make a decision, make the choice that you're investing in your business and you're investing in yourself and get it done. So I'm going to turn it over to, um, oh, Christy's going to do announcements. Sorry, girl. Okay. I love it. I love it when somebody else does my job for me. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like, guys, you got to finish this. Oh, well, one of the things that Mary Beth and I talked about this morning was like setting our alarm clock for like 1201 or 12 whatever because at 1201 you guys 1159 midnight whatever mary Kay takes those limits off the ordering so there will be people who will order an exorbitant amount of products and I'm not saying this to scare you or to make you place an order. I'm just giving you a sense of urgency. If you feel like you're going to sell any of the holiday products at all, then I would highly recommend that you go ahead and order what you think um, that you want to sell. And I, I mean, the price points are so amazing. $18 and less is the holiday seasonal product line. You cannot like, you cannot go anywhere and get a hand cream and a lip balm for $18 and it smells delicious. So really think about that. And sometimes we have to make an investment in order to have accountability to, to move that product. When I started my Mary Kay business, I started with, um, I started with inventory. I started with like more than I even knew how I could sell it. I don't even know why I started where I started, but I'm glad that I did because it was accountability. So um, if you want the holiday products, it's a great way to wrap up your star, um, but tomorrow is our star deadline for the first time. And if your goal is to be a four quarter star, um, you've got to start at the first quarter. So don't miss that. So um, the new products. Um, in the next few days, you, you guys are going to see us um, posting a link and a recap of all of the various pink boot camps that we've done over the past seven weeks. I think it's been seven weeks. And so um, those are great resources, you guys. So like if you can't remember how to go out and get new leads, you can just go back to that video, watch it, start it, stop it, start it, stop it, take notes, and then refer back to the workbook that we prepared for you guys. That is a great resource for you. And even as you're bringing in new team members, you could even say, Sally Ann, hey, the first thing you need to do is go watch this video on Pink Boot Camp. It's going to be all about X, Y, and Z, and you need to see those things. So that's the Pink Boot Camp. You're going to see that on there. And then the other thing, you know what, you guys, I love it when there's a lot of people on here. I don't know about you, but I, to me, the more the merrier. I love having my sisters. I love having my girlfriends. So I'm going to ask you, me, Nancy, and Mary Beth are going to ask you guys to encourage and invite your sister consultants to join us on Monday nights. And please just share with them like what you get from being on Monday Night Live, what you love the most about being on Monday Night Live and invite them to join us as well. Because I think it is a great thing to, uh, to participate in. My sales director always said, you know, stars and cars, you're not gonna get there if you're not showing up to your Monday Night Live. So. That was very good advice. All right, Mary Beth, we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna have part one for holiday training. 
I'm just fired up, y'all. Like, so excited. So excited to share with you tonight. Um, but first, I want to take you down memory lane and a few little stories of things that are so prominent in my memory. Um, and Christy asked me to share my story, and one night I'll do that. Um, but 12 years out of my Mary Kay business, actually 13 years out of my Mary Kay business, I was a single mom. Um, and when I say a single mom with, with no help, and I'm not saying that to go, oh, have pity on me, but I want to share with you what you can do. Single mom, not a single mom, woman with no kids, it doesn't matter. Anything is possible in Mary Kay. So during the recession, what was that, 10 years ago maybe, um, my Mary Kay holiday, holiday business in the month of November paid to have my entire house painted. Okay, y'all, that was a big deal for me. I mean, that was money. Mary Kay was my full-time job at that time, and I didn't have any outside income, but my Mary Kay holiday sales in November paid to have my inside of my house painted in feminine girly fun colors because we had a girl home. I have two daughters. Now, the next thing, this was about four, five, maybe four, maybe three years ago. I don't remember the exact Christmas, but my girls are, are so big now and they don't believe in Santa anymore. They know that I'm Santa. And so it's kind of hard to surprise them because they know what they're getting. But guys, my Mary Kay money surprised them last or that December, three Decembers ago. Um, it surprised them with suitcases under the tree and on their suitcases were tags for the cruise that we left on right after Christmas. Guys, my Mary Kay business paid for that trip. Not my commission checks for my unit, not anything else, the sales of the holiday products. So guys, I want you to think that thought. I want you to dream big tonight. With the Mary Kay holidays, I want you to throw the fear of, oh my gosh, what if I get products and I can't sell them? Guys, if you think that, you won't. I'm just honest. If you think you can't sell products, you probably won't. So I want you to put a different thought process on. So number one, the first thing is we launch into the holiday season. Think this with me. What is it that you would love to sell? What would you love to sell between tonight, today, September 1st, whatever, um, and January the 1st? And I want you to think big. 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. Guys, what could you do with an extra $5,000 over the next four months? Truly, what could that do for your household? I don't know, it can do a lot. Guys, it can change your life. My girls will always remember that trip, always. Um, to see them squealing in high school, like to see Skylar like squealing because she was so excited. Guys, I have that on video. I'll share that sometime. It's amazing. Um, but the first thing to do is determine what your holiday, what you want that goal to look like in sales in a timeline. Okay, how do we eat an elephant one bite at a time? So if your goal is to sell $4,000 before January 1st, you could say $4,000 and you're like, well, oh, that's a lot. But if you break it down, I want to sell $1,000 in September, $1,000 in October, you know, November, and then December. Guys, that's your $4,000 in sales and $2,000 goes into your pocket. Guys, would $2,000 change your household? It would mine right now. It totally would. So, so once you determine that holiday goal, that is number one for, for everybody to do in September. And guys, we're just going to talk about September stuff tonight. And then next week, we'll talk about what, what October looks like for the holidays. Um, the next thing that's so important to continue to do is to swell your customer base. Continue with online parties, virtual um, beauty experiences, face-to-face -face appointments if you're doing that, if you're doing in-person parties or, or girlfriend get-togethers, but continue to swell that customer base because customers that are created today are going to be some of your best excited, most excited customers for the holidays. All right. So now something fun, your holiday sales are going to be completely different than your skincare party, virtual beauty sales. All right. So that $4,000 that you are wanting to make or sell during the holidays, that's not going to be included into in your, when you do a virtual beauty experience and sell through miracle sets. Does that make sense? It's an addition. It's like, it's kind of like the cream of the crop. Okay. All right. So Christy, can I share a screen? Am I able to do that? I think I can. Yes, maybe. Okay, let me share my desktop with you guys. Okay. So there are a lot of things out there. And I truly believe, guys, we don't want to chase a bunch of rabbits because ain't nobody got time for all that. So what I want you to think about, okay, um, is using Mary Kay's resources. All right. So Mary Kay, I need to shut this down. Okay. Let me see. 
Okay, there's going to be this little thing right here on your Mary Kay page and wrap the holiday toolkit. Guys, this is everything that you need for your holiday business, business wise. I know there's all kinds of different sites and ideas, but it can be totally overwhelming. So right here, number one, here is a great um, holiday season video that you can watch. We're not going to watch it tonight because that's something you do like when you can't sleep, have heartburn or something crazy. Um, but that's a great video down here. It's going to share with you all the new products that are out there. Um, you can, you know, read a little bit about them, see what's out there, copy these pictures to post on your social media accounts. Um, but I love this right here. Can y'all guys see this? Is everybody good? Okay. Supporting materials. So these are some ideas. I love these little pink holiday gift, um, gift giving gift tags to put on products. Guys, these are free. Take them to Office Depot and get those printed off for a discount. The holiday wish list. These are fantastic. If you've not seen this, this is fantastic right here to, um, well, it might come up, might not, my slow internet. Anyway, um, so gift tags. Another one that I love down here um, is the holiday open house invite, okay? I have these printed at Office Depot. If you didn't know this, um, chat with your director yeah, chat with your director, but Office Depot gives us an amazing discount to have things printed at their store. You can email them, they print them, you go pick it up, you show your little Office Depot card, and like, if those copies were normally $50, like full price, you might get them for $10. Like the discount is incredible. And so um, we'll talk more about open house invites closer to time, but just so that you know, this resource guide is available to you um, through Mary Kay. All right. Okay, any questions so far? Amy, you're just smiling over there. You look like you're up to something, girlfriend. Okay, are y'all excited about the holidays, about making some money? Okay, all right. So the next thing. Hey, Mary Beth. Hey, yes. Yeah, where did you say that that was? I didn't, I didn't, I think you cut out where you, when you were showing the web page. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all stuff. I'm getting ahead of myself. It is going to be under Mary Kay in touch. Nope, that's not it either. I was just there. Um, oh, right here under Mary Kay in touch. And I don't, it's on the very first screen that we have. So right here, it'll say unwrap the holiday toolkit. So if you ever have a question and can't find something, you can go up here to the Mary Kay Google and you can type in holiday toolkit. Does that help? Okay. Yes, thank you. All right, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. So the next important thing to do in September is to determine when your open house will be. Now, guys, this year is a little tricky. I have always had an in-person open house. Um, Christy and I have chatted about it. She, she's probably going to do a virtual open house. I'm going to do both. There's no right or wrong answer. You know, if you don't feel like having an in-home open house, then you want to plan one virtually. And guys, my very first open house that I held, this was years ago, 16 years ago when I started Mary Kay. I sent on invitations. I had tons of food. I set up my house. It was so beautifully decorated. And I waited. And I waited. And not one person came. So I could have quit. I could have said, Mary Kay doesn't work for me. But guys, I took that time. And what I did is I took that time and I called people that didn't come and, hey, Christy, oh my gosh, you couldn't make it. Um, I miss seeing you today. But you know, when can I come by your office or when can we get together? Guys, I used that time to pivot and make something out of nothing. Um, because it was disappointing, but you know what? I had a dream and I had a goal and my goal that Christmas was to earn my very first Mary Kay car. And so I didn't care if people came or not. They weren't part, they weren't gonna determine my success. So, um, so I want you to know if you schedule an open house and nobody comes, it's completely okay. It's happened to all of us. But the most important thing to do is to start it because if nobody comes this year, they're going to come, but I'm saying if they don't, then you've said you, you're making it an annual open house and every year it's going to grow and get bigger and bigger and bigger. All right. So this is a little something right here that I do. Let me share my screen again. Um, this is a little fun pick collage that I found and I can text you the, the basics of it. Um, but this is something I post on my social media. You can text it out to your customers. Save the date, the date of your annual holiday open house. Okay, this is so important to start getting this in your customers hands now to start giving them that date. I have found that the best time to do an open house is 
the first part of November before the, um, the Thanksgiving season. Because guys, when it comes to Thanksgiving, people are already thinking of going to the mall and going to Target and Black Friday sales and all that jazz. They're not thinking about your open house. So you wanna catch them before they start holiday shopping. Okay, does that make sense? You wanna catch them. I've done it after, after Thanksgiving, I've done it before. Um, it has always worked best for me and the consultants that I get to mentor and lead to do it before. Okay, so that's going to be important. And if you choose to have a virtual open house and not in person, guys, go ahead and schedule it. We're going to get details later, um, not this month, but in October, I'll be sharing with you more of what an open house looks like and how that can be successful for you. So today, all you have to think about is, now think about what cookies you're going to make or anything like that. Just get a, get a date and save the date. Okay. Um, all right. So the next thing I want to share with you guys. All right. Let me pull this up. Take that down. If I can work this computer, we'll be doing good tonight. Okay, all right. So the next thing is gonna be to track your ask. And I almost kind of, if I say it real fast, it comes out not ask, but anyway, track your ask. So how many times can you ask friends, family, coworkers, customers, is there any reason why you wouldn't get one of your Christmas presents from me this year? Is there any reason why? Guys, I've never had anybody tell me no before. It kind of takes them off guard sometimes. They're like, what? And they're like, well, sure, absolutely, I'll do that. So guys, this little sheet right here shows you, it's a 30, out of 30 ask, how many people said yes, how many people said no, and how many people were maybes. So let's think about this. In the month of September, if you talk to 30 people, okay, we've got two weeks left. If you talk to 30 people and ask them that simple question, is there any reason why you wouldn't get one of your Christmas presents from me this year? Let's say all 30 people, the average, let's just say the average is a $50 gift. Guys, hold on. That's $1,500 in holiday sales just from you asking 30 people and then saying yes. If they spent $50, some will spend 200, some might spend 15, but guys, it all, let's just average it out to 50. So print this little sheet off. I know it's kind of silly with these little Darcy girls and stuff, um, but it's just a visual for you to remember. And this is one thing I'm gonna ask. Y'all, bring ketchup to the table. If you ask a woman if she would buy a Christmas gift from you this year, if you ask her and then you never ask her again or you never call her and say, hey Jane, um, you know, I'm working on my holiday orders. Is there anything you'd like to, you know, to purchase? Can I help you? Um, can I help you? with some of your gift giving or your stockings this year. Guys, if you don't follow up and bring ketchup to the table, she's probably not gonna purchase holiday gifts from you, okay? It's up to you to ask her. So 30 people that you ask, they spend 50 bucks, that's $1,500 in sales. So if your goal is $4,000 in holiday sales, guys, y'all are almost there. I mean, you're getting there close. Does that sound like something you can do? Y'all know you can send it in a text message too. You can text that out. When a customer calls you for a foundation order, you just respond back, thank you so much for supporting my Mary Kay business and my dreams. Hey, by the way, is there any reason why? Well, it's that simple. Put it in your notes, send it off. Um, okay, all right. So the next one, I'm gonna take y'all to my little holiday workshop. Um, so one thing that's so important is to find an area, find an area in your home that is gonna be your holiday Santa workshop, okay? My dining room turns into the holidays or turns into Santa's workshop. Gifts are set up all the time and they're set up one if somebody wants to come to my home to shop, but they're set up too because if I need to grab something, I can grab it and go deliver it, mail it or do whatever I need to. Okay, it's a great visual, but find an area in your home. Guys, before I had a dining room, I had a closet when I started my Mary Kay business. I would shut my bedroom door and lock it. I would shut my closet door and I would escape because I had two little bitty kids that drove me bananas. Um, but that was my, my escape and that's where I use my holiday workshop. So it doesn't have to be a fancy office, a fancy room. It can be a closet if you want it to be. So, um, so find an area in your home that you discuss with your family. Guys, this is, you know, this is mommy's workspace or, you know, hey, honey, this is going to be my area for the next few months. But listen, my goal is to sell $4,000 this holiday season. And you know what, with that $2,000, we are going to go on a trip in January. Have you ever been skiing before? I've always wanted to go to Denver. And so I want you to go with me to Denver. Y'all. What if you told your honey that or your mom or your daughter or your son or whoever, 
Y'all, that's a game changer. They will always believe in your Mary Kay business if you treat them to a treat like that. Or if you don't have anybody special in your life, you know what, take yourself somewhere. Um, okay, <laughs> um, so the next thing, as you prepare your, um, your workstation, guys, I love keeping it simple. I wish Karen was on tonight because I would have her share with you guys. Um, but keeping your Mary Kay business simple during the holidays. Whoops, I forgot my chair, hold on guys. Um, I've seen consultants spend hours packaging. And guess what I did last year? I spent hours packaging hours on those little cupcakes that you make and wrapping them in perfect and guys when you sell like two three hundred of those it's time consuming and i'm like yep i think i lost money on my time so simple first of all hobby lobby these are oh i threw the things away shoot okay i'll get those to y'all um these are the large the large bags <laughs> i'll go dig in the trash in a second and then i get the small bags this is all you need guys for your holiday wrapping. This is it. Now, maybe not a bag. You might want to get two of the large and two of the small, um, but these bags are perfect for packaging. Okay, so the next thing that I have and that I get are these little doodads right here. Can you see these? These are rhinestones. All right, now these are $4.99. Guys, when um, they're on sale at Hobby Lobby, they're half off. So what is that, 250 to something like that? But I found some that were on clearance. So guys, if they're on clearance, get them. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with these in just a second. Okay, all right, so, and then, and then bows. So this is my little station right here. Can y'all see? Okay, ribbon. You wanna get holiday ribbon, cute stuff. Little candy canes. These have little lips on them. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, so different ribbon and when they go on sale at Hobby Lobby, guess what? They're 50% off. And then another thing that I do is I take my, um, I ordered white bags off Amazon and I put stickers on these. Thank you for your business. When you walk into an office or you deliver a product to a woman's house, if it's packaged beautifully like this, it's a game changer because she's already thinking about the holidays. Okay, wow, if she's gonna present my products like this, what is she gonna do when she wraps up everything and like brings me my presents wrapped up? Okay, all right guys, any questions? We're moving on. Okay, are y'all getting excited? I'm just fired up, I'm ready to go make some money. <laughs> um, okay, so the next thing, so this is something I'm gonna show you um, a few things. Hold on, time out. I would stand up, but I have all my pajama bottoms. You know, what they always say, from the neck up, doesn't matter how you look. I mean, you have to look good, but from the neck down, I've got on pajama pants. Okay, so we talked a little bit. I know Christy and Nancy both talked about finishing star and inventory. And guys, I want to share with you a little thing. Um, preparing inventory, this is a really big deal this time of year. So I don't believe in just buying products to buy products. I never have, have never done that with my Mary Kay business, but there are two times in my business that, that I increased my inventory, all right? So if you're brand new, if you've been in Mary Kay a while, this is just something to remember. Number one, I increase my inventory when my customer base grows. So every 25 new customers. So if you're working to 25 customers right now, your inventory is probably great. When you increase to 50 customers, you wanna make sure you have enough inventory on your shelf to supply those 50 customers, okay? When you go to 75, 100, and then so. Um, so if you have questions on that, that's a conversation with you and your sales director. She can help you determine what purchases you need to make to supply that sufficient inventory. But guys, during the holiday, we stock for giftables. And what a giftable is, those are gifts. Um, and so these products are ones that you want to have on hand. Because if a woman calls you, I had a girl call me last year and she said, I need 10 charcoal masks. If I didn't have those 10 charcoal masks, I would have lost the sale. She needed them the next day. Guys, I drove an hour away to take her those charcoal masks. I was so daggum excited. She later became a consultant. So, um, but I say this, so preparing your inventory, yes, it's a big deal because you want giftables on your, your shelf. So number one, um, these are things that I wanna show you that I love to keep wrapped up. The satin hands, okay? The large size satin hands, it's this simple. I took them out of the package, I wrap them up with the cute little bow and I'll tell you what this little thing is in here in just a second, okay? Um, the body butters. 
These are amazing to have. Guys, I take it, sit it on top of the box. Is that not a gorgeous package? Like, don't y'all want one of those? Okay, sell it to you for full price tonight. Okay, the charcoal mask with a brush. And if you notice, guys, I take them out of the package. And do you know why? My sister was in perfume sales for years. And she said, you wanna make the product bigger. And the reason you want it bigger, I'm trying to make the screen, there we go. Okay, the reason you want this product bigger or to look more full, because it looks like they're purchasing more. It's just something about the eyes in between, you know, in between the head. Christy, will you keep me good on time? Um, okay, so the next thing that I do, guys, little bitty eye makeup removers with the mascara. You are fabulous. Those are amazing. Okay, and little bitty hand creams wrapped up with just this little thing. Guys, these are $10 gifts that I keep in my baby. And what a baby is, a baby in Mary Kay, we're gonna talk more about this next week, but I wanna just kind of visit on it tonight. A baby is your new case bay. It's your new Louis Vuitton for the holiday season, okay? Your baby is a basket full of, I just knocked it over trying to show y'all, but full of holiday gifts, okay? This has everything it's usually neater, but I just dumped it all over. This has every new limited edition product in here. I also have the fall and the holiday catalogs. And then I have a little black mesh bag that has pens, sticky notes, and my business cards inside. This is where I keep my money, okay? It's where I keep my contacts that I made at the post office or at the bank or the dentist office or wherever I go. So guys, this basket will be filled with $10 grab items, $15 grab items. So if I'm out and about and a woman is looking and she's looking for a gift, guys, here we go. $15 in mascara and a mini eye makeup remover. Isn't that amazing? 15 bucks. It's wrapped. It's ready. But guess what, Nancy? Oh, you'd like this? Okay, perfect. You know what? Can I grab your name and phone number? I just need to jot it down that I sold this to you. Oh, I've just met a new person because she saw my basket. Guys, when I'm standing in line, y'all are going to see my pajama bottoms. I don't have on a bra either, but who cares? Anyway, <laughs> so this right here is my baby. When I walk into the post office, I'm walking in with this basket and people are nosy. They're inquisitive. They want to know what I've got here. Put your mail in here. Um, if you go to the grocery store, you might not want something this big. Get something smaller. But I normally have a hand cream in here that's open. One of our hand creams. And if I'm standing in line, I'm squirting people. Hey, Candace, if I'm in line, I don't know you. I would go, I'd put some lotion on and, you know, it's kind of rude. Like, you know, would you like some? She's either going to say yes or no. But if she says yes, you give her a little squirt and say, hey, have you ever tried Mary Kay before? And if she says yes, you say, oh my gosh, who's your consultant? And if she says, no, I, I, don't, I don't have a consultant. Well, it's your lucky day. I would love to have you as a customer. Okay. Are y'all excited about this baby? Do you know why it's called a baby? Anybody? Because you would never leave a baby in the car. So you take this baby with you. Guys, you don't leave a baby in the car. And if you did, you'd be in trouble. And so it's just a reminder, this basket goes with you everywhere. When you come home, you want your basket to be empty, completely empty. So on the pink cell right now, and I haven't looked in a few days, they have the little bitty, um, wands, the perfume wands. I'll roll over there in a second and get them, but they have a little bitty perfume wands. They're like $12. So they cost us six. Guys, six bucks. I'm going to sell them for 10 all day long. If you don't have perfume samples, you need those wands because people are going to say, hey, what does the perfume smell like? For six bucks, guess what? You can say it smells like this right here. So, um, okay. So, so some other things that are great to have as giftables. Um, all limited edition stuff, guys, it's going to sell out. It's going to sell out and you're going to be upset and cry. Don't call me asking for it because I'm not selling you mine. Um, number two, satin hands, satin lips, charcoal mask, the moisture renewal mask, eye makeup removers. Ooh, I didn't show y'all that. Eye makeup removers, um, men's shaving cream, the hand soaps, the satin body lotion, that whole satin body collection. Isn't this beautiful? Don't you want this sitting on your bathroom counter? I have mine from last year. I just, so what happens is when they run out of eye makeup remover, they keep their top. So they always have a fancy eye makeup remover on their counter. And that's where these guys come into play. Okay. It's just selling the sizzle. It's just making it happy, fancy. 
Okay, so keep it simple, sweetie, guys. Keep it simple, sweetie. There is a, a company that I use called Pink Printing, and I get stickers from, okay? So if I had to suggest for you to you what stickers to get this year on Pink Printing, guys, you're going to want to order this week. The reason I say that, it takes about two weeks to get them in, but they do sell out, and they sell up fast. So maybe put that on like your to-do list this week. Um, the lump of coal. I use the lump of coal on my charcoal mask, okay? All right. The next stickers or the next little things that I love are these Merry Christmas. And these are fun little tags just to hang on gifts, okay? All right. The next ones that I get are You Are So Fabulous. Because these are fun to put on the mascaras, okay? All right. So the next thing that I'm going to recommend are these little guys right here. So. This is a little cheer card and it says, cheers. Your hands have helped pave the way. They've given love and care each day. No matter the task they have to do, they're tender, caring, strong like you. They've healed, lifted, hugged and touched and in return, you are loved so much. This is a special thanks for all the love your hands have given. And then on the back, there's instructions on how to use the satin hands. Guys, I put that in the middle. Is this not a beautiful package? You put it down in a gift bag with a bow and you have a gift wrapped beautifully. It's simple and it's easy. Mary Beth. Yes. Is that the full size or the deluxe mini? No, this is the that full size. Yep, this is the full okay, size. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, so the next thing, a few things um, that I just want to share with you, and I think I've hit it all tonight because Christy, she and Nancy want to share too. Um, guys, start making your list. Um, and this is a list that I'm going to encourage you to start tonight, especially because holiday gifts are going to, or the holiday stuff is going to sell out within the next 24 hours. Make a list of friends and family that you shop for. Guys, you want to shop from your Mary Kay store. There is no reason you should not be in Target getting, you know, bath and body work, lotions and potions and all that, guys. Um, so friends and family. Also make a list of coworkers, a list of your customers, um, a list of Santas. So I kind of have this down, a list of Santas. And then over here is going to be a list of um, places of business. Okay, we're not going to talk about these tonight, but what I want you to concentrate on are friends and families and coworkers, because that's who you're going to be doing your, your personal shopping for. Last year, the mask pod sold out, and my girls were so upset that they couldn't have any. And Thursday before our preview, Emma goes, oh, can I have those sponges? I said, no, ma'am, they're limited. I don't have many. She goes, but I want some. I said, well, too bad. So these are great stocking stuffers if you have teenage girls. So um, what questions do you guys have? Anybody, anybody? Can you um, say that list again, please? Absolutely. Yep. The first one is going to be, um, the first column is going to be friends and family that you will personally shop for. Okay. Um, coworkers that you will personally shop for. And I say personally shop that you will be gift giving to. And then, um, and then the next column is going to be your customers. The next column will be Santa's. And then the next column will be places of business. And I can tap that in the chat here in just a second. So guys, here's how I work this list every holiday season. My friends and family who I will shop for. My friends and family that I will also contact to shop with me for the holidays. Coworkers that I gift to, but coworkers that also can shop with me during the holiday season. And then I list my customers. Who are my customers that will shop with me? Who are my customer Santas? Guys, a Santa could be a husband, it could be a girlfriend, it could be a mother, it could be a sister, it could be anybody, but everybody has a Santa. And if they don't, well, we need, they need farmersonly.com or something in their life. But anyway, the next little thing will be places of business. And places of business, those are places like, let's say that, um, who's Kelsey, Kelsey's on here. Kelsey works at um, an ortho clinic. And so Kelsey, if she was still my customer, I would, she would be my place of business because I'd want to do a holiday stop for her this year. But we're going to get into that later on um, in October. Okay. Did that answer that? Somebody asked that question. Okay. Christy, take it away. Awesome, you guys. Let's give Mary Beth a huge round of applause. That is amazing. 
Like I'm doing the math over here on like, okay, what is my holiday selling uh, goal? And um, I'm just like so excited about it. So um, anyway, cannot wait. Like you almost inspired me to have a live and in-person open house also, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. So, so what I want to share with you guys is how many of you participated in your unit's Facebook holiday gift preview party. Okay, so, so what I want to share with you guys tonight is we have recently been given this amazing, incredible information on how to, um, how to take a Facebook party and make it very simple and very duplicatable to pass on to our new consultants. And so if I were to say to you that you could set up a Facebook group for Sally Ann, who is going to have a virtual beauty experience for me in seven days, I link it with a website, tell it which code to put in to post all of the posts over the next seven days and all of the posts are all ready to go. All I have to do is appear live when it's time for me to, and just reply back to some comments. Like, could you get so excited about that? Like, like my mind was blown when this was introduced to me. So there is a website that is called Visly, V-I-Z-Z-L-I-E. I am gonna do a training video on how to set it up. You can get your first 14 days free. And so what I recommend you guys is schedule a party and like take advantage of those four, first 14 days. That's exactly what all three of us did. We were like, okay, let's get those first 14 days free. Then, you know, we'll decide if we want to keep it or not, but it's only $10 a month. And the really cool thing is the whole community, a huge part of the Mary Kay community has come together. They have created all different types of parties. And so all you have to do is have a code to type in, this is like foreign language I know right now, type in to get all of those posts and then you link it together with your Facebook party. Guys, it is so simple and it was so easy and so much fun. And quite honestly, I think it really surprised me, Mary Beth and Nancy, because we had like just blown away by the number of uh, comments and interaction that our guests had. Um, like I put it on there and I didn't check my Facebook for like maybe 36 hours or something like that. I had over a hundred notifications and that was all these people commenting like, Take a picture of something pink in your house. So that is what you want. Like when you are doing a Facebook Live event, you want that interaction. You want a lot of commenting going on because that keeps it very important in the Mary, in the Facebook algorithm. So I'm very excited about that. And what I want you to do is I want you to think this thought with me. I want you to think about Sally Ann is going to be my hostess and she's going to host a Facebook live event for me. And so I'm going to get her all set up with her group page. All she has to do is invite her guests. And you want her to invite 35 to 50 people so that you can get good participation. Not everybody's going to participate, but you want them uh, to invite that many. And you want to give her some instructions for inviting. So let's just say in this process, Sally Ann sell, we sell $500 at her Facebook event. And she's like, gosh, that, was, that wasn't hard. I think I could do this. I'd like to have an e-starter kit and go ahead and get my Mary Kay business going too. So guess what? You already have her Mary Kay VIP page set up for her. Like she just completely transitions that Facebook Live party page into her VIP page for her customers. And I just think it's absolutely brilliant because she's watched you do this she knows exactly what to do. She's going to turn around and she's going to duplicate everything that you just did. So it is not only a great way for you to make money. It's a great way for you to meet new people, gain new consultants, gain new clients, and they can easily duplicate what we are doing. Does all of that make sense? 
Okay, I'm getting a few nods. Okay, all right, awesome. Um, so I, we were just like totally over the moon excited about this because it simplifies everything and it's so easy for us to duplicate this for our new consultants that are coming in. So over the next couple of days, I'm gonna create a tutorial video on how to set this up. We have several different codes um, that you can put in for creating your own and I'll show you how to edit it to make it personalized. And once you get it all set up, you guys, and do a little customization, you are good to go. You can do one party right after the other. And of course, you want to keep your, your virtual beauty experiences going with Zoom and in person, but this is a great filler for you. Any quick questions before I turn it over to Nancy? Okay, all right, Nancy, you are up, sister. After all of that, guys, I have no information for you. Are you excited? I am not going to give you information. <laughs> I have three pages of notes, and it's not like I haven't heard this before. You guys got me so excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to place an order tonight. I got things to do. It's amazing. Um, I just love to be around like-minded people who are going places and doing things. And um, what I was really going to talk to you tonight about is just the power of being positive and who you surround yourself with and just taking the opportunity to dream big. And earlier as we were chatting, we were talking about what goes on up here. And um, for most of us, this is where the biggest battle is. Um, one of my favorite books of all time is The Battlefield of, my, of the Mind by Joyce Meyer. Not a new book, it's been around a long, long time, but it just talks about everything that goes on up here. And so if you got as excited as I did, as we were going through and hearing all these great ideas, I love Mary Beth's Keep It Simple. Um, I am a packager upon packaging. I love to do it, but you can spend tons of hours doing that and not get the benefit. And so I love that. And I was getting so excited as she was sharing. But what often happens is when you get off of this, then the negative begins to think, who am I kidding? Can I really do that? Last Christmas, I only blah, blah, blah. And I'm not even going to speak any more about it because I don't want to implant any negativity. But you have a choice. You can choose to buy into the lies that you can't, or you can choose to buy in to a new reality. And it's truly just that, it's a choice. If you choose to set a goal and go for it, the sky is the limit. What is keeping you from it is what you are letting think and go on up here. And if you buy into that, then what you believe is what will happen. Mary Kay always said, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. It is fact. It is scientific that if you believe in your mind, you can do it, then you can. And we were talking earlier also about, you know, we get all jazzed up and we get excited and then we get into our own emotions and we get into our head. Every day is a choice to stay in that place. It doesn't happen automatically. You don't just wake up and are full of joy and full of enthusiasm and ready to go and I've got this and I can. It is a decision. It is a choice to put good things in, to read your affirmation about who you are and who God says you are and what you are doing and what is your purpose. These things are choices. If you struggle with that emotional roller coaster and that mental um, battle that's going on, then you have to make an active decision to feed yourself good things. You can do and achieve and have the most amazing Christmas you have ever had. But today is the day that you have to decide. Today is the day that you have to make a choice. And it is your choice to be highly successful or frustrated. It is your choice to make the phone call or to think about it in fear. Fear keeps us from moving forward. Fear is false evidence appearing real. And that fear is just made up stuff in your head. No one has ever died from a Mary Kay. No, no one has ever been bitten. No, no one has ever had anything bad happen to them. It is what we create in this crazy thing called our mind. And so you choose today, you get to choose. 
right now when we get off of this this zoom you get to choose if you're going to be a big dreamer if you are going to lead the way if you're going to affect other people's lives if you are going to be a catalyst for change for those that are around you christine said it earlier that she is pouring into her family and it's up to her to be that change you make that decision today so you can be a minimalist or you can max it out and do more, have more, and be more than you ever thought was possible this holiday by a decision and a choice that you make today. The ball is in your court. You are the driver of your dream. You are the creator of your destiny. And there is nothing or no one that can stop you from having everything that your heart desires except you. So my prayer for you is that you will get out of your own way, that you will conquer, that you will truly go to battle with your armor on every day, the crazy things that we let go on in our mind, and that you will step up and become the warrior that you were called to be. Because you can have it all and you can do it all. With Christ on your side, there is nothing that can stand against you. My Am I the only one still here? No, we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good, Nancy. So uh, good. So guys, I just, I mean, I got so excited. I hope you were as excited as I am. And you know what? We've had feast and famine in our businesses. I've been around a long time. You know, I've done amazing things. Some falling kind of flat on my face, but we do not let those things keep us from being everything. And with the great ideas, simple ideas that we were just given, I love your ask tracker. Notice I said that very perfectly, um, Mary Beth. Um, it's a phenomenal, there is no reason, COVID or not, there is no reason we do not max out Christmas and have a phenomenal Christmas. As a matter of fact, I think COVID, if you wanna look at a silver lining, I believe that it is the silver lining for our business. People are looking for us. They don't wanna to go to the mall, they don't wanna shop. So grab a hold of it and let's go. Absolutely. Hey, Mary Beth is going to share a really fun video uh, for us really quickly, and then Nancy's going to pray us out. Okay, guys. So in your stocking, what was your favorite thing? Probably the hamburger the socks, oils, the humor, hamburger the socks, and the poop worry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hamburger socks and Okay, so what's next? Um, Molly can open her. Well, let's open yours first. No, I want to open yours. And the big ones, you have to open them together. Okay. Hold on. I know what it is already. I know. I know what it is. <laughs> what is it? Suitcase. What? What's up? Don't tell that. I should think it the bag. My bad. These are so cute. cute. I think they might go together. Okay, just tear an open scour. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that was it. I don't know why y'all are all muted. Did I do something on here? I want you to know, I just got goosebumps all over. Just so, I, as I was sitting there, I was like, whose life do I want to bless like that with my holiday? And it was a, it, it was so just, and for whatever reason, I didn't finish it with scholars screaming and hugging me. And, you know, when you have teenagers and who they have not been easy, but just, just to know that that is, that anything is possible, guys. That was one month in sales at the holiday. And it's because I made a decision. I set a goal. Um, you know what? If people told me, no, it was okay. They didn't determine my destiny. And so when I say this, when I speak about the holidays, guys, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not blowing smoke up your skirt. None of that. I know you can have anything you want this holiday season. And it's going to be the best. If you make that decision, this will be the best. If it's your first season, it'll be the best holiday season you've ever had. For us that have been around for a little while, it's going to be so amazingly great. So amazingly great. And I have two more things to show because I, I dug them out of the trash. Um, cello bags, 25 counts, Hobby Lobby. 
um, cello bags, five by 11. I think that's what it says. Um, this one's, this one is 199. And then there's the 50 count of cello bags. Okay. The 50 count. And these are, um, four by nine. All right. So those are the only two wrapping bags that you need. Um, you will need some of these little cups They you can find these in the party, like birthday party section. Um, you can find different colors, different things. These were left over from last year because guys, here's the deal with the socks and the cupcake. Okay. So literally you take your mint bliss out, you wrap the socks around here and I'm doing it super quick. So it's probably not the neatest. Um, and you stick it down in a cup and you have a mint bliss cupcake. Guys, it's that simple, 11 bucks. I've already sell, sold out of my 10 and I have more I need to order. Guys, these right here, if you don't get anything, you better be selling these bad boys, $11. Mary Beth. Yes. Where can I find, can I order those online, the little cups? Or can you only buy them from Hobby Lobby? I have no idea. I've only been to Hobby Lobby to find them. Okay. So, Do you wrap yours with cello bags too after you put them together like that? I did last year, but after doing over 200, it took too much time. Too much you can experience. also find them at Dollar Tree, Mary Beth. Oh, girl. Okay, I didn't know that. So this is just the way I'm packaging. If somebody orders them, I just, I have the big white bags and I'm stacking them in here. They can wrap them however they want to. You know, if they want to put them in something different. Yeah, that's a great question. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, use the coupon, Nancy. If they're not on sale, use the 50% off coupon. That wasn't for me. Cindy said it, but I repeated it because I was like, yes, use that. <laughs> yeah, keep on. But, but, they, but they normally have these like every other week, you know, they have them half off. And so it's a great time. I think you get 12 for like a few dollars. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yay. Does anybody have anything that they want to say or share before we wrap it up? Sharon? Oh, wait, Sharon. Okay, there we go. Lori, Lori showed something that went like this, and it looked fabulous. Have her show it again, slowly. Get myself. Um, I actually have a customer that had ordered this, and her husband has gone ahead, and he wants to reorder that for her for Christmas, but it's a pretty big basket. I don't know if you, you can't really see in there too well, but it's got the full satin handset and the full body satin set also. And he said she loved it so much. He just wanted to go ahead and get that on his wish list. So I went ahead and made that basket up. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you. Lock himself down. Okay, guys. Well, I don't know. Um, if you're as excited as I am, but I hope that you are. Um, this is going to be an amazing holiday season. I think we're getting ready to blow the holiday out of the water. And so I want you guys to just take a little bit of time. I loved what Christy said earlier, be still, think this through, make a business decision, not an emotional decision, and let's run with this girls. I cannot wait to hear all of the stories and who you blessed and what you were able to do with what you did with your holiday sales. So I'm gonna pray us out, okay guys? Father God, I pray that you would just give us wisdom. Father, that you would give us courage to not walk in fear, but to step out and do and be everything that you have called us to be. Father, I pray that you would just touch each and every one of these women and the families that they represent, Father God, that you would just, put in them that seed of, you've already put in them that seed of greatness, but that you would help it to grow and that it would burst forth in this season, Father God. This is the time. The time has come. And Father, I just pray that they will embrace it, that they will not let fear hold them back, but that they will just burst forth with energy into this new season. This is going to be exciting and we want them all to come along. And so, Father, I just pray over each and every one. Father, I pray for Christy and for Mary Beth as they lead and guide and direct. Just bless them, Father, as they pour into others. And Father, I thank you for each and every one and for the difference that they are making in their lives and the lives of those that they touch and their families, Father God. It isn't just about us. It's about everyone's life that we touch. Help us to be everything that you've called us to be and to go out and to conquer those mountains that you have called us to conquer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Thank you so much, Nancy. That was beautiful, Nancy. Oh, girls. Yes. So excited. Great meeting, you guys. Just continue to expect more and more and expect the greatest selling season that you've ever had because it is on us and let's do it. Let's do it big. So, yeah. all right, you guys have a great evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Good night. Bye. You Good, night. Good night, everybody.